Today, we're going to talk about how to use a psychic method, my psychic method, to help reduce separation anxiety with dogs. Hi, my name is Danielle McKinnon. I am an animal communicator. That means pet psychic. I have been doing this for 20 years. 20 plus years, and I absolutely love helping people understand their animals based on all the knowledge that I've acquired through my thousands of readings that I've done with animals. So the tool that you're going to use is an important tool that will work both on you and it's going to help your pet. And I need for you to stay tuned at the ending so I can explain exactly why this tool works. Because if you don't know that, you're not going to get anywhere on the tool. You're going to do the thing and it's not really going to happen and, and it'll all be a wash and you'll be like, that doesn't work, Danielle, and you'll never come back. So you have to stay until after the tool so I can explain that to you. We know how to take care of ourselves. Like we know how to exercise. We know how to eat well. We know all of these things. Maybe we do them, maybe that we don't. But one of the most overlooked areas that our animals are clued into is our emotional health and our energetic health. And those things, they go hand in hand. Like they, they, they go together. <laughs> so um, that's what we're gonna deal with today. So for this tool, we're going to actually close our eyes and take a few breaths. So you're gonna inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, if that's comfortable for you. I know some people don't like that. They like in and out the nose. I personally like the nose too. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Okay. So I want for you to imagine with your eyes closed that you have that your body is where your body is. And then surrounding that is a beautiful column of light. The light is white and gold and silver and sparkly. And it, it just, you're imagining it being sparkly all over, all around you. And a column is basically like this big cylinder that is surrounding your body. Now, as you look at that cylinder in your imagination, I just want you to notice, are you imagining the pieces, the particles, the things that are making up this column of light? Are you imagining them being very small, spread out, very compact? How are you imagining them? I really want you to take note. Okay. Now I want you to notice how all of these little particles in the column of light are moving. And notice that they're not moving in unison. Some are moving like this, some are moving like that. So it's kind of like a little bit of chaotic light in this column. So we're going to get this column of light to organize itself. And when we do that, it's going to shift within you. So with your eyes still closed, I want you to imagine, inhale, and on the exhale, I want you to imagine making this column of light get really, really thick around you, really, really far out, like 10, 20 yards out all around you. Okay. And now inhale, exhale, and take it even a little bit bigger than that, maybe 30, 40 yards out all around you. Feels big, doesn't it? Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to inhale and on the exhale, bring it in a little. Inhale and on the exhale, bring it in a little bit more. Inhale and on the exhale, keep bringing it in until it's just about elbows width away from you, surrounding you. Okay, and now that you're there, imagine running energy up and down it, up and down it. So the energy is going I know I sound crazy. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Just ignore that and do it. Do this exercise. Okay. Now, notice how the particles are in your imagination. Notice how there feels like there's more of a rhythm. There's more organization to this whole situation with the column of light. And notice how you're sitting. So one of the things that frequently happens is when people do this column of light exercise, they find their neck gets longer. They find they're sitting up taller. They find they're like, 
They're just more centered and more straight and more strong within their body. And that's what this column of light does for you is it, it makes you centered and strong and grounded in your body. Okay. So now you're ready for step two and step two is working with your dog. So you can leave the house. You have to stay in this awesome, grounded, strong, like <laughs> strong in your body space to be able to leave your house and have it affect your dog with separation anxiety. So maintain this feeling. If you notice you lose that feeling, just go do the column again and then go back to this step. Don't keep doing the step and be like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, <laughs> it's not fine. Do it for real. Okay, so now you're gonna go to your dog and you're gonna say, hey, Fido, I'm about to leave the house. I love you. I'll be back in you know 20 minutes, let's say. And then you really have to come back in 20 minutes. So you're in this strong place. You're not doing crazy stuff. You're not worrying about Fido. You're holding your energy in this way and you're sharing that with Fido. And then you gently, calmly leave the house. After a few times of doing this, you're gonna notice that your dog is going to be reacting to you differently when you leave the house because you're now leaving the house in a strong and secure place. So here's what the thing is. Remember I said you have to listen to the end because I need to explain to you why this works? This is that moment. Okay, when we are in a state of worry, anxiety, distraction, um, concern, anything like that, as we probably are feeling when we're running out of the house, our dog is intuitively connected to us and is seeing this, feeling this, knowing this. So if I'm leaving the house and I'm all agitated and worried like this, what's happening? My dog with separation anxiety is looking at her and me and going, oh, she looks pretty nervous and worried. Now I'm left here all alone. I don't have anyone to protect me. She certainly can't protect me. So it's creating a situation for now the dog is feeling more insecure than they would have otherwise. When we do the column of strength, energetically, we are now very strong and secure. The dog taps into this and goes, oh, look at her now. That's secure. She's leaving in a state of support and strength and power. I feel good because she wouldn't leave me here if I wasn't safe because I trust her now. So that's what you're gonna try. Come back and let me know how it goes.